Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. I'm in After Effects CC 2018. And guys, I want to show you something that when I started doing After Effects, I wish I knew and I did not know. Uh, in particular, I am going to show you how to animate shapes or paths over time using the trim paths option that just sort of allows you to do the animation without having to do it with like sliding in and stuff like that where I made that mistake when I first started out. So let's just dig right into this. I've got a new shape. I've got a brand new composition here. It's got nothing in it. I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to create a, a shape. So I'm going to create using the ellipse tool. What the hell, right? And I will drag it out and boom, I've got this weird looking, well, let's make it a circle. Why not? Right? So I've got this green stroked circle. I'm going to just increase the so, uh, stroke just for demonstration purposes. And okay, cool. So we've got this weird looking green thing. Now, what a lot of people do, and I am guilty of this, so make no mistake, is if you want to like animate this, you'd often like, you know, you want it to grow over time. You'd, you know, you'd either take it off and then you'd slide it in or, or you'd fade it into existence, but there's an actual way to do it um, using just natural growth. And I'll show you how that is. Basically, what you want to do is click on the shape layer, go to transform. Oh, pardon me. You don't have to go to transform yet. Go to contents, and then over here on the add button, you want to go to what's called trim paths. Now, once you've got trim paths, you'll see it show up here. And I'm just going to close that. There's no point for that. And then you're going to see that you've got some, uh, you've got some uh, basic options here. Where start state, end state, and an offset state. Right now, for this one, we don't need any of these offset stuff. Basically, we want to create a um, we want to create a keyframe here at the zero second mark. And instead of having it at a hundred percent we're going to put the end to 0% and then say after 5 seconds or so we want it to be oh it was at uh, it was at 100% <laughs> i started it at 1% oops so i'm going to start it at 0 and then after 5 seconds it's going to actually just sort of grow itself into existent so let's just hit play and i'll show you there we go it's animating itself just like that using the trim paths operator. This is an amazing feature that you can use for all sorts of cool things. So for example, I'll do one more maybe. I'll delete this shape layer and I'll create something using the pen tool. We'll just do something really weird looking like that, presto, right? Like normally you don't, you, you want to, you know, you want it to go from left to right and you want it to animate. Again, guys, just head on over, drop it down, contents, add trim paths and boom, we were in business, right? Then again, you just start at, this time we'll start at the 10 second mark and we want it to end at 100% and we want it to start at zero second, we want it to start at 0%. So again, we just click out of there, hit spacebar and presto, we are now using the trim paths. Awesome feature guys, please use it. If you have any questions or if you have anything you wanna learn, just leave me a comment and I'll help you out. Guaranteed. Thanks for watching. Cheers.